hello everyone and welcome back to another video now today as you all know black ops 4 has just released this morning and the first thing that i wanted to hop on was zombies now before you get on zombies they're gonna give you basically like a little guide describing everything in the game and basically what it does now this guide is just to offer some further explanations on how it works just in case some people are confused or maybe don't know or they just didn't fully understand so basically the first thing i'm going to start with is the elixirs the way these elixirs work is kind of like the gumballs black back in black ops 3 zombies but instead you actually get to equip them on your d-pad anytime any just for use inside the zombies game now if you press on them the classic list you obviously have the ones that you can use forever they don't have any limit to them the rest that you will unlock as you level up throughout playing zombies and as you go they have the commons the rare legendaries and epics when you use a main game you can only use one at a time if you use another one while you're already using one the one that's already in use will cancel and they will go on cooldown and then it will directly go into the one that you're using the way that you can get these elixirs is right here as you can see on the top right corner i have a certain amount of points i guess you can say and with this you can buy the elixirs and the bear and uh, the tails one now i'm gonna buy one right here for example i know the 75 one is actually that was a little expensive i try to put one with the other ones but just to showcase i will show this a legendary undead man walking as you can see and we got a tailor's one so that's basically how you get the elixirs is from the laboratory and also the that's where you get also get the tails from now another thing that i wanted to point out was as you can see on the top you have chaos story and the aether story now as you can probably already indicate there are three versions of zombie well not really versions but three maps that you can play they have the blood of the dead the IX and the Voyage of Despair. Now for the Voyage of Despair, since that's the one that I will be referencing, since that is the one that I use, that one you will use yeah, that one you will be using the Chaos Story. Now the way that these work is these totem poles will be scattered all around the map with the perk that you assign to them. If you press on it, as you can see right here, you can assign different perks to them. And you basically run around the map finding them and you can buy the selected perk from them now also another thing that i wanted to point out is that there are different characters and with these different characters you can assign different loadouts now when you go into the game you're going to see something called it's going to tell you to create a class in here this is where you can pick the different characters that you created from the create a class section now when you get in the game there's also going to be there's the way they made pack a punch this time is very weird like i said i'll be using voyage of despair for this one i don't know if it's going to be the same for the other ones but for voyage of despair they have this system where if you go or if you buy your way all the way to the back of the map there's going to be some there's, there's going to be the artifact that's going to be floating in the air when you go up to the artifact and you press on it the artifact will come down and it will basically shoot out four relics they're going to be in forms of fireballs and the first one will actually drop right in front of you when you get down just go up to it and then you will press square when you press square you will they will give you like one little relic and as you can see on it there's going to be four ones right there and when you press on you have to go around the map you have to search for all four of them and when you find all four of them you will be able to create pack a punch now also another thing is that in voyage of despair they have these portals all all throughout the map there's going to be portals that you can use to basically if you get yourself up if you want to travel around the map faster they're what they're called is like fast travel and you, i think you have to pay I'm pretty sure you have to pay to enter one of them and they basically travel you around the map anywhere basically and last but not least there's going to be different type of zombies when I think when by the time you reach level 6 or wave 6 I say 
you will reach different type of zombies. Now, what I basically mean is some zombies, they will have kind of like an icy aura around their head, or they'll be like all fiery. They'll be all, they'll either be fire, like gas, poison, green gas, and electricity. Now, how this happens is basically you'll see like a regular zombie running and then out of nowhere their body will like open up and they will turn elemental or whatever whenever you kill these zombies do not stand near them for example if you stand next to the fire one they will squirt a lava and they do and they will do damage now do they insta kill you no it's obviously not but obviously you want to be careful with higher waves if you when you're getting stuck so that you can stay alive just be wary for that anyways this is some of the things that i noticed and some of the tips that i wanted to offer out hopefully this guys this guide was helpful to you and helping you understanding on how the game basically works hope you guys have a good day hope you guys 